So I'm going to uh, talk you, or just very briefly go through the current paradigm of antibody-mediated rejection. And then I'm going to go through some animal data, animal experiments. I'm going to try and make them as simple as possible, all of which is designed to lay the foundation, if you like, for complement inhibition and why it's important. And then there's just one slide on in vitro models of antibody-induced uh, EC activation. And then a little bit at the end on this phenomenon called transplant accommodation, which is really what we're all trying to achieve when we're targeting the innate system, because we're trying to induce a resistance to uh, rejection in, in the transplanted organ. So this is the current way that most people think of antibody-mediated rejection. You have, uh, in the case of uh, uh, hyperacute rejection, uh, you have pre-existing antibodies against the donor. They could be against the HLA molecules, non-HLA protein antigens, or carbohydrate epitopes, such as the AB uh, blood group, or in xenotransplantation, a terminal gal uh, alpha-1,3 gal linkage. They bind to the endothelium, and represented here is normal endothelium with tight junctions, expressing molecules that inhibit coagulation and keep the blood flow flowing uh, once the antibody is bound, uh, complement is fixed. And at the heart of this rejection process is what's called endothelial cell activation. Now, believe it or not, this is a relatively modern uh, concept, and the evidence for it is all relatively modern. Pioneered by uh, Tim Springer and Jordan Pober in the uh, 1980s. Uh, initially around the way that T cells interact with endothelium, but it was adapted... Uh, into humoral rejection by Jeff Platt and, and Fritz Bach uh, uh, 20 odd years ago. So the antibodies bind and complements fixed and, and complement generates different types of effector molecules and the endothelium becomes activated. And as a result of that it secretes various different things to attract in platelets and leukocytes. It sh the shells shrink away from each other so that the endothelium becomes leaky. And a lot of these molecules that inhibit uh, coagulation for instance are lost through various different mechanisms. And the, the entire, uh, the, the result of all of this is that you end up with, in its most florid manifestation, intravascular thrombosis. Uh, but you can get various degrees of these things happening, one without the other. But obviously, in, as I say, in its most florid, intravascular thrombosis, which results in rejection within minutes or a few hours of revascularizing the organ. Uh, so there's a distinction early on between type 1 and type 2 endothelial cell activation. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but this whole model uh, places an emphasis on complement activation. So antibodies uh, in this context certainly act, uh, one of the, ways, the main ways they act is by fixing complement. And when you fix complement, you get various different things produced. The terminal uh, or, or, or the end product is membrane attack complex, which is a complex of C5, B to 9. Uh, but you get other molecules along the way, C3A, C5A, and anaphylatoxins, which can bind uh, membranes, uh, membrane-bound receptors and activate cells, and other products as well, some of which we use. Uh, th some of these can bind receptors on leukocytes. And some of the other products, C4D, for instance, we use clinically to tell when an antibody has been bound. So another way that antibodies can act is through cell signaling by binding molecules on the surface that are capable of transmitting signals to the cells. And then a third mechanism is by, binding, uh, by, by, binding, by being bound by FC receptors on leukocytes. And I'm going to go through now all the evidence to, uh, to back up the, uh, the involvement of these uh, effector mechanisms in, in transplantation, mainly in, in animal models, as I've said but at the end of which you'll realize just how important targeting complement is, even when these other mechanisms are involved, as, as hopefully you will see.